Hello everyone, if you want to know how to make a rotation speed measurement in a Mitsubishi FX5U PLC, you're at the right spot here. Hello, welcome back, this is Gerd Zeller from Zeller Press Control Systems and off we go. Just a quick advice. At the end of the video I will put the parameter setting as a screenshot and also the program as a screenshot and that way you have everything in one spot. In order to do the rotation speed measurement you have to go over to the navigation window and open the parameter, FX5U parameter, module parameter and then the high speed IO setting. In the high speed IO setting there is a section that says high speed counter with detailed settings. Make a double click on here to open the according window and then I'm going to show you how to make the settings. Alright, here goes. The settings I'm going to use the channel 2. So the channel 2 you put in um, the selection use. And then on the operation mode, on the drop down menu, there is a selection that says rotation speed measurement mode. The next will be the input mode. I have a two phase, one multiple encoder with 360 pulses per revolutions. So I'm gonna select this one right here. And if you want to know, how this is working. I have made a video previously that I'm gonna link up to you in the description so you can have a look at that. For the next thing we will go over to the um, measurement unit time down here and I'm gonna put in just 50 milliseconds that's to start the measurement basically right away inside the 50 milliseconds and just like I said I have 360 pulses per rotation or per revolution. Okay, the next thing is you make a check which should say no error found, there you go and then we make an input check and on this input check you can see that the channel 2 high speed counter uses the inputs X2 and X3 and those inputs actually are set right now to 10 milliseconds and this is way too low. This we will see if we make an if we push the apply button there should be a small description. The input response time over 1 millisecond has been set for the input used in any input used in any of the input interrupt pulse catch high speed counter or positioning setting is le setting less than one millisecond is recommended for the input signal so this is what we will do next do you want to check the input response time window so if you push yes here the input response window will be open automatically and this window the input check we can close here and then on here we will have the selection 10 microseconds which will just be suitable for the speed measurement okay right here we go do i have this right now oh no one second um there we go so 10 milliseconds, check it again, no error found and do not forget to apply otherwise you will lose the settings and then that's it for the parameter settings. And now we have to write a small program in order to enable the counter. So I'm going to close these windows here and I have already set up for a previous video I already have set up a POU that I'm just gonna use again and here I will um, add another row 
put the system flag M400, SM400 in there, which is always high. And then we need the instruction H I O E N. That's the high speed counter enable. And then we will have to put in the K10, which I will just explain to you. K2 and K0. This explanation just comes up right now. If we just click on the instruction and push F1, the window will open, the help window will open, and here we have the explanation for the H. I O E N P or H I O E N. So here we see the uh, instruction itself S1, S2, S3. And there is an explanation that says S1 function number to be started or stopped. And as we can see, if we push this uh, link right here, we have a function number that says K0 for the high speed counter and K10 or the pulse density rotation speed. So this is actually why I put the, the K10 in here. And the next one will be, it will be on, um, if, we, if we check that again, the next is to set the bit of the channel number where the function is started. So if you remember, I put this on channel number two, and this we can see also on here the counting start stop high speed counter can be controlled for each channel of high speed counter and the bit position for the channel 2 is the bit 1 so if you take the bit binary code this is the k2 which i put in here to start and the k0 i put in because i do not want to stop the function so that's pretty much it for the programming code and now we also have to find the uh, uh, according register where the value is read out. So we go over to the special register list and here we'll find the high speed input output register and it says here for the SD45008 high speed counter rotation on the channel 1 and it always goes up by 30 I think so we should end up for the channel 2 we should end up with 30, 45 38 if I'm not mistaken high speed counter rotation speed channel 2 there we go so it's the SD 4538 and this we can just put in the watch window and that should be already it for all the settings and if I made everything right and I make a download to the CPU including the parameters, the module parameters and the program. Off we go. All right. Complete it, close. Start the watch window. And if I now turn the encoder, we should already see how fast I am turning it. So you can see right now 30 revolution a minute. And on here, um, just one second, I'm going to show you the inputs for the encoder, X2, X3, just like it was in the table. So you can see the encoder is moving and here you see on the SD 4538, you see the actual speed of the movement revolution per minute. So that's it for the explanation 
of the rotation speed measurement for uh, Mitsubishi FX5U. I thank you for watching. I would appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription. And I say thank you for watching. Bye bye.